Welcome back to the Bethany Sports Beat as we kicked off the fall athletic season here. We're going to talk about women's soccer right now, and that means we bring in their head coach, Derek Lingholm, and Coach Lingholm coming off one of the uh, more successful seasons in recent years here. You guys get all the way to the conference tournament, but unfortunately, although you had a late lead, you end up falling to Northland. How long did it take for you to to get over a loss like that, or maybe you haven't, you're kind of using that as a little bit of an inspiration, especially with the number of returning players you're bringing back this year. You know, it's a little of both. I mean, as the game ended, I felt confident. I told the girls this after the game that we were the better team. We we didn't get the, the result at the end of the day, and sometimes that happens. And so you have to let it go. On, on the same note, um, you know, we really felt like we should have won that game and we could have gone a little further in the playoffs. So uh, there's a little bit of unfinished business there, but I think as a team, we've kind of put that behind us and just said, let's move on to the future. We talked about the fact that, again, successful last year, but you are bringing back a lot of returning players. In fact, two players of note graduated and took mm -hmm. a lot of offense with them. So I don't know if that changes the complexion of this team. Do you feel you have some players who are ready to step up and take on that offensive challenge or maybe to get a little more defensive-minded? Or how does this year shape up? Well, as I look at our team this year, we, we have a lot more players on the roster. Our roster is really, you know, we've, we've got the quantity. Now we got to see if we've got the quality. And uh, so far, I mean, we've had three practices, and uh, our team is, is looking really good so far. And I think, um, you know, just as coaches, we were just talking here minutes ago that uh, we really think we've got some players that can step up and fill those voids. Who are going to be the players that, for you guys to be successful, these are the players that are going to have to take it to the next level? Well, I think offensively, I mean, you, you look at kind of the returning scores. We have Nicole Molstead and Allie Mix both back who were amongst the conference leaders last year in scoring. So I think the offense really starts with them. We definitely have probably three or four newcomers who could definitely, you know, jump into that mix of scoring where uh, Taylor Friel and Bridget Hennon, you know, we, with them graduating. Uh, defensively, Lindsey Stewart has come in in great shape and, and has been a wonderful leader. And uh, defensively, we're very, we're very solid there. And uh, goalkeeper Avery Cash did a great job for us last year. And we've got two freshmen goalkeepers in with uh, Abigail Bradway and Emma Motter who both will um, you know fight for, for excuse me fight for time right from day number one. You mentioned the larger uh, number of players on the roster this year have you already sensed a little bit of more of just competitiveness within the practices and things like that people will be just they know they're gonna have to dig a little bit deeper in terms of getting playing time? Yes and no honestly with with just these first three practices we've seen a lot of people who are just nervous you know yeah. trying to where do I fit in you know am I am I gonna get playing time that kind of stuff and the biggest thing so far is we've just been telling girls just be yourself just have fun and, and the biggest thing I've seen is especially with our returning players it's just great leadership great camaraderie everybody's pulling for each other and when it comes to the conditioning everybody as soon as it ends is sitting there like hey good work girl you know that kind of stuff and so that as a coach that's what makes me really happy at this point is to see everybody gelling and, and coming together conference race is a little more wide open this year uh, I know that on the guy side things have been dominated certainly in mm -hmm. recent years by Scholastica and stuff like that they continue to be one of the better teams on the women's side but you also hear Morris you hear the Northwesterns mm -hmm. Bethany has popped in the picture north mm -hmm. from last year how does the race shape up in your mind this year at least on paper well I mean it, it's always tough to know because you, you never know what other people are bringing in you know as far as talent uh, you kind of know what people have lost but I mean even even with that I mean there's players who transfer and people who you thought were a senior but they still have another year of eligibility so it really changes, but uh, I think, you know, you'll definitely see the Northwestern Scholastic up there again. But uh, along those lines, I, I've told our girls, I think we've got the talent and we've got the numbers that if, if we play to our best potential and the chips fall, you know, in line for us, I think we, we've got a good chance to compete for the conference title, and that should be our goal. All right. That's Derek Klinghoman again, Don Westfall. Thank you for joining us for women's soccer here on the Bethany Sports Beat.